I will, I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. We have today the memorial of St. Francis Xavier, a priest of the Jesuit order who went off to India and that territory. Uh, 700,000 people, I think, he baptized during his lifetime. Just a incredible amount of people. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many peoples to yourself, grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for the faith and that Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in an abundance of offspring. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us, open up the gates, to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith, a nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, and the lofty cities he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This, is, this gate is the Lord's. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me, and have been my Savior. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him well while he is near. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. 
Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. So, just a couple of images that uh, stick out to me here. One is, you know, the will of the Father in heaven, the one who does the will of the Father in heaven. That's the one who's going to be able to make it into heaven and uh, to be able to be part of the kingdom even now here on earth. And it just sort of continues as we get into heaven. So, um, and ultimately, you know, we're supposed to be learners. We're supposed to be disciples that are trying to learn from Jesus. What's the best way for me to live my life while I'm here, serving you and serving my neighbor? And I sometimes think to myself, when we get to heaven, what happens if we still have jobs? You know, right? So part of learning how to work hard, do well, maybe there is a job for us to do in heaven. You know, I don't know. I can think of a hundred things I think of normally of what I do in heaven. Sawing logs, you know, I don't know, whatever the Lord needs, I'll do it. <laughs> and so learning to have that kind of openness and availability, the radical availability of heart to do whatever the Lord's will is, that's what I want to do. And um, the easiest way to know if you're doing the Lord's will is, that I've ever heard is, if the Lord wants it to be 25 degrees outside, I want it to be 25 degrees outside. Isn't that crazy? to will the same thing that God wants. He wants it to be blustering and windy. He wants it to be sunny in 75. So do I. <laughs> uh, that's a great way to unite ourselves to the will of the Lord God. The second image that I, I think, uh, what I really wanted to talk today, uh, but at least I got the formation of us and the souls and going to heaven, this image from both the psalm and from the first reading about entering into the heavenly gates. Uh, sometimes when I'm doing uh, funeral homilies, if you've been around me long enough, you've heard my funeral homilies, and I talk about uh, when we enter into heaven at the end of our life, uh, just imagining all the people that we've ever met that have been an influence positively for us or that we've been a positive influence for them, the, the charity that we've shared with one another, the, the moments of service, the time we've spent. Anybody that knows us, that's been watching us from above, is going to come out of the woodwork. You know, so. Bob, uh, I don't know, whoever, right? I just picked your name, Bob. I realized suddenly you are sitting there. But anybody, anybody named Bob, but let's think of Bob here too. Yeah, Bob is entering the building. And anybody that's known us just comes out and wants to meet us. So now listen to these words uh, from the first reading and then of the psalm again. On that day, they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. The Lord sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose, you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. And then in the, in the, uh, the psalm, right, we said, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in the princes of this world. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's, the just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. I, I, you know, when I think of um, how great it must feel after you've 
stood in front of justice with Jesus, and you sweated it all out, <laughs> you got all that stuff worked out, and then we did our purgatory time, got all the sins and everything wiped away, and it's, it just feels so great. I'm free. I never have to ever again suffer, ever. I get to just enter into the land of the just. And you start to let your imagination go. Like, what are the moments like when you enter into those gates? Now, I've, uh, I've had uh, the blessing of, um, I guess, being over at the Vatican when uh, they open the doors up and then you can go into St. Peter's Basilica if you're the, one of the first ones of the day because you get there early enough for Mass. And so you know, they open the door and you get to go in. It's like this gigantic church, St. Peter's Basilica, just a little bit bigger than this one. Okay? I mean, I think this one here fits in like the entryway. Uh, it's just, it's oh so wonderful. And the awe. And then beyond just simply the sights and, and the sounds, like the harmony, the sounds of the harmony and the, the kind of the taste of the richness of the air that you're breathing in in heaven with your new body that's resurrected that'll never decay. And then suddenly it's the communion of the saints of all these people rejoicing together. Hi, I'm so-and-so. Remember when we hung out together? Hi, I'm so-and-so. We did this together as kids. There was that one time you were so nice to me. I just had to come and say thank you for that. Heaven is this communion. And in a world right now where we are feeling uh, so lonely, broken down, separated, isolated from one another, you can tell that we are in a purgatory, <laughs> if not a hell, that we're living in the, in the current world. And when you contrast those two against each other, would you really want to stay here for the rest of your existence? I wouldn't. I want to go to heaven. And to imagine that there's even a place worse than this, COVID-22, or whatever they're going to call it, you know, it's just, it's like even worse quarantine forever. <laughs> uh, some of us live in that uh, from time to time, we live in that hell of separation and brokenness and woundedness where it's hard to let any grace of God enter into our life. Uh, nobody, nobody wants that forever. They shouldn't want that forever. And so we need to surrender everything over to God's will. Lord, you want it to be cold outside, I want it to be cold outside. You want to help transform my soul, I want you to help transform my soul. What do I need to learn today? Humility? Okay. How many shovelfuls do you want to give to me today? Oh, two? Okay, well, I guess I'll take it. Two doses of humility today. Uh, two doses of patience, two doses of difficulty and trial and tribulation. And, you know, we offer it up. Thy will be done. Heavenly Father, you know better than I. And in doing the Father's will, we set ourselves up for this incredible success of God's grace to transform us and get ready for that divine life. Stand and bring our prayers before our Heavenly Father. We pray for the church throughout the world that all Christians might live divine life as an example to all others, that everyone can see how Christ lives in us as Christians and transforms those in need. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our teachers and uh, people who are in positions of authority and leadership in the world. Pray for them to use their positions as a means to help bring about the greater good of humanity in everything that they do, to transform systems of injustice to systems of justice. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are working with imprisoned persons. Pray for those who are home health care workers and those who work with people that are quarantined and in isolation of any kind. 
Pray for those that work in jails, those who uh, visit the homeless. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for all those who are suffering. Pray for relief in the midst of their pain and difficulty and entrustment to God and his providence in all things and for grace to be granted them to be able to uh, offer up their sufferings and be granted relief as soon as possible. We pray to the Lord. Lord for those who have died and gone before us in faith, we pray for Norbert Ackerman, for whom this Mass is offered, for the next person from our community whom the Lord will call to himself. We pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, we ask that you would hear all of these prayers. We ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, these offerings we bring you in commemoration of St. Francis Xavier, and grant that as he journeyed to distant lands out of longing for the salvation of souls, so we too, bearing effective witness to the gospel, may with our brothers and sisters eagerly hasten towards you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory is without end, we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light, says the Lord. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. 
May your mysteries, O God, kindle in us that fire of charity with which St. Francis Xavier burned for the salvation of souls, so that walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the reward you promise to those who labor well in your harvest. Through Christ our Lord. Oh well. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Oh, I remember what it was. Um, Scott was the one who read for us today. He's from Little Falls, a seminarian for our diocese. Mark over here in the black outfit, trying to be a priest soon with his black outfit. Uh, Mark is from Haynesville. And then uh, I think most everybody knows Joseph in the Carhartt coat there. Uh, he's from this parish, so you, you probably should know who he is. <laughs> Good. So we have three seminarians living with us. Very grateful for their presence, and uh, make sure you pray for them as they spend this time with us.